They say the early bird catches the worm, but sometimes patience is a virtue. Which one is the winning trip? Find out today on Inside the Ride. Welcome to Inside the Ride. I'm Brian W. Spencer and joined today by Cisco Torres, a veteran jockey with nearly 3,000 wins, almost $60 million in career purse earnings, and a 19-time graded stakes winner. Cisco and I are going to take a look back on a race from opening weekend where he rode the winner beyond compare. Thanks for joining me, Cisco. Thank you for having me, Brian. Now, in this race here, uh, we're, you're going to be aboard the number six, and we're going to see right out of this break here. Is there something that you and trainer Gary Shearer uh, were going into this race looking for? What was the strategy out of the gate? Uh, we were concerned on whether somebody was going to go push, push, push James Graham and when the race, you know, the race developed, we started, uh, it looked like it, uh, they were going to put a little pressure on him, and, which was our benefit to our, our, our race. And uh, once we went into the first turn and we seen that uh, the two horses were going to go and went on and put pressure on Graham, uh, it was perfect for us. Well, like I said, I got my horse to settle. And uh, right here, you know, he's tugging on me and we were just uh, biding our time and just kind of waiting for the race to develop and, and develop good. Now here, right around the 5 16 pole, you see James Graham aboard the number three red strike make that early move to the front, kind of blow the race open. Now when a rider makes an aggressive early move like that, how does that change your strategy? Or do you just continue to you know, stick to your plan and move your horse when you want to move it? No, you stick to your guns here. Like I said, the, the, here at the fairgrounds, the stretch is so long, you, start, you stick to your guns, you bide your time. And, and again, when James Graham pushed the button on his horse turning for home, you know, it was just a matter of time that he'd come back to me. Here comes Beyond Compare charging at Red Strike, and it's Beyond Compare and Cisco Torres. Beyond Compare got to Red Strike late. Seven Oaks, finish third. What would you have done turning for home after James had just opened up a big lead aboard Red Strike? Anything differently than Cisco did? Let us know in the comments below the video.